England Stonehenge has stood for thousands of years, a mysterious and massive monument. There's debate about who built it and why. But there's no doubt who built Kentucky's smaller scaled version. Everybody's wired different. That's 87-year-old Chester Fryer, the former mayor of Munfordville. In 2000, he started bringing large stones to his 10-acre lot. He's never been to the real Stonehenge. But pictures on the internet rocked his world. He says he felt compelled by unknown forces to recreate the ancient landmark. Sound crazy, I know, but is it the magnetic pull? Or was it God or somebody else warned it and had me to build it? I know it had done something special. So special that it's become a tourist attraction. Oh, it's beautiful. Even though it's private property, Mr. Fryman has always welcomed visitors who find his field of dreams just off I-65. Some uh, good memories for the family. Yeah, we go around Kentucky. While most people would try to get rocks out of their yard, Mr. Fryman spent 20 years bringing rocks into his yard. He can't really explain why, other than the fact that he just finds them interesting. This, they are kind of like rocks. They, they, they got different shapes and different looks. Besides Stonehenge, there's a large cross and cannons on a mock battlefield and boulders that seem to bend. I've been over a thousand acres finding these rocks. He can only imagine what he could do if he had another 20 years to work in his rock garden. If I was younger, I could really make things. Some say the original Stonehenge is magical, but so is this one. It stacks up pretty well when it comes to curiosities and accomplishments. In Munfordville, Marvin Bartlett with the Spirit of the Bluegrass.